sea salt spray. Let's talk about some sea salt spray, gents, because sea salt spray is the golden child of all things hair care. I mean, you have influencers making it, you have Kardashians making it, you have every type of celebrity or anyone who owns a hair care product line to make sea salt spray. I have Alpha M's brand here. I have Alex Costa's brand here. I'm not gonna tell you on hey, it's sea salt spray. I think everyone should be using it. Um, I was not paid or sponsored by any of these brands, by the way. I'm obviously not <laughs> big time enough for someone to get all those sponsorships, but maybe one day I will be. But I'll still always give you my unbiased, truthful opinion because that's who I am. And that's what I came on YouTube to do because that's what I wish I had, right? And I'm gonna tell you exactly which ones to buy. I've tried the best five on Amazon. And here are my top five sea salt sprays that if you wanna get into this game, Bro, look no further. These are the only five you need and then pick which one suits you and your hairstyle the best. Let's get right into it. Number five is Old Money Sea Salt Spray by The Beard Brand. Now, let me get this camera to focus. I mean, because this is my favorite bottle, honestly, out of all these bottles. I like this little, like, it's almost like a water gun. <laughs> I, I like this one a lot, the design from it. And it also just looks sleek and it looks great. This one has the best scent out of any of the other ones on this list. I also have used Beard Brand products in, before and I've used their beard oil. So I bought this primarily because I used their old money scent beard oil. I used to at least, now I used a different one. I wanted my hair to smell the same and I thought it would be like just a good combo to have. This one, um, I don't know, man. I don't know what it is, but it makes my hair actually flat. It does give you the like grittiness that you want when you're using a sea salt spray and it does give you that ability to like texturize it. But my hair just gets a little flatter and I don't know why. Um, I really wanted this one to work. Once again, I think the aesthetic is really cool. And I've actually spoken to uh, the owner of this at an influential conference. I've actually met a few influencers at that conference, but this beard brand spray is, I don't know, man, maybe they should just stick to beard products. Hair care is not their thing, at least not with this product. It just makes my hair damp and that's kind of the opposite of what you want with a sea salt spray. Number four on this list is Brickle. Um, you may have seen them on Amazon, they're massive, massive on Amazon. I mean, everyone, if you go on their website, you'll see there's like thousands and thousands of reviews for all their products. So they're primarily men's skincare. Um, I don't think they're big hair care, honestly. The thing I didn't really like about this one, I mean, I think it's a great overall, and this one has no scent almost. It's almost like a neutral scent. So sure, it's nice. Um, you don't need a scent in yours. Okay, this is the way I operate. If I'm gonna get a sea salt spray, but it's kind of on the pricier side, to be honest. And for how expensive it is, some of these other ones have better ingredients. The one thing I liked about this one, it has vitamin E in it. So it's actually good for your hair. This one's like a solid five. It's like right in the middle. It almost does nothing if you don't apply like at least 10 sprays to this. Especially when it comes to their hair care, I would not recommend the sea salt spray. I mean, Beard brand still at least has something going for it. It's a good scent. This one, I would put up number four instead of number five because this one at least does what it's saying it's doing. It just doesn't do, do it enough unless you put like 10 sprays, maybe even more, which kind of defeats the purpose because might as well just use one of these other products instead, which actually some of them are cheaper. Number three, Bueno Hair, Pete and Pedro's. Pete and Pedro's Sea Salt Spray. If you know anything, uh, about men's online lifestyle on YouTube. You've probably come across Alpha M. I've actually met him before. I'll put up a picture over there. He's a really great dude. Genuinely one of the nicest people I've met. Um, and he's someone who comes across off um, how he is in, uh, in camera, exactly in person. I mean, I went to Men's Influential Conference and he's the one who actually organizes it with another YouTuber. His name is uh, Antonio Centeno. He had a stand there, a booth there for Pete and Pedro products because obviously it's his conference, right? Like, why not? And that's when I got my first taste of Pete and Pedro. I've heard about their putty, I've heard about their other stuff, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, their sea salt spray is actually one of their best selling products on Amazon. Um, and it's prime um, and it comes within the day, actually. This was like this shipped literally within the next day. So I thought that was really great. And it's blue. I don't know if there's like some additive coloring or anything, but uh, it's once again, it's just more like the ocean, more like sea salt. But this one probably has the highest salt content. And I really, really enjoyed this one. Like these top three are all my favorites. Like I use these three interchangeably all the time. I actually use this one when I travel the most because they have a small travel size and it's also relatively like right on the middle mark in terms of pricing. So I think this is worth your money because this big bottle, things like 20 bucks and this will last you forever. I mean, you don't need a lot of sprays of this because it has really good quality ingredients. Gives you a lot of texture, a lot of volume, but also like doesn't make it too gritty. It has like a soft texture, if that kind of makes sense. So um, yeah, great guy, great dude. Um, I, anytime Alpha M comes out with a new product, I like to support him. But once again, I'm not very biased. Like I tried T. Chanley and I'm happy to get my thoughts on that too, but I wasn't the biggest fan of T. Chanley and I can explain why later. But his sea salt spray, Pete and Pedro's sea salt spray, uh, yeah, bro, I would definitely grab this if I was on the market. And you can also go into the introduction with just a small one, which I think is like 10 bucks. Great product from the line of Pete and Pedro. Definitely recommended my third one on this list. Number two on this list is Mr. Alex Costa's Forte C series sea salt spray. This is the one I want to say I was the most surprised 
buy because every day these days an influencer just comes out with their own brand right um alex costa is someone though at least with the quality of i think his videos or his content or he just seems like a guy who's very premium and into the way things look right and i respect that uh the bottle of this is just absolutely sick masculine it's all black um the reason why i like the uh, these other ones is because you can kind of tell when the content level is going down this one you really can't tell because it's all matte black the reason i was surprised by this was because i think this is better than most products on the market period and the best part about this bro is the smell i mean i know we're not looking for fragrances here i know we don't care how great it smells but this one just has such a natural soothing smell it doesn't smell uh, it smells like a mix of the sea and a light fragrance but it's not overpowering to the point where if you have it people are going to smell that over your cologne or whatever no it's just a great light scent it's like a light almost i don't want to say citrusy but it, it is a bit like that like i got complimented on my hair one my friends and i we were all hanging out and i have a friend who was sitting next to me and he like was like dude your hair smells great like i didn't realize people actually smell hair uh and it has to be because of this product i mean this one is really good uh great great ingredients in this it gives you that like beachy carefree look it just gives you i don't know what it is maybe there's other ingredients in this besides sea salt but it makes it really feel like you're just on the beach uh so it has like like for example like it'll, some like parts will stick down whatever it has like thicker texture but it just makes it look really good and the volume on this one is pretty fucking great so i would definitely recommend forte series if you're someone i would say it's and though it's an influencer brand it's a brand that really really you know comes at a premium too though but it comes with the right right quality ingredients you're not going to be wasting your money on this one i think this is i think this is the most expensive on this list because if you like take the size comparison i think so i think they're the same exact price these two are the same exact price uh this is 25 bucks this is 25 bucks but this one is like double the size of this one so it's definitely more premium it's more most the most expensive one on this list but if you're someone who wants to try sea salt spray uh they don't have a smaller size at least on amazon this is the only one but great product overall very surprised by the quality uh and i would highly highly recommend it and mr alex costa i've actually met him too i'll throw a picture up here but great job um i think you've done a really good job with with forte series i need to try your shampoo and all the other things but if this sea salt spray is representative representative of your rest of the line i gotta say bro i'm really really impressed number one on this list is the cheapest on this list and it is genuinely the best one i think out of every single one of these um once again the top three are the top three if you want something that's more sea salt heavy that gives you um that more soft textured look i would go with pete and pedro if you want more of that like ocean that beachy wave textured look if you want a bit more grit and a bit more like uh dimension to your hair go with forte series but if you want the best of both worlds and something that I liked about Brickle, uh, how it focuses a little bit on health, this one does as well, because it has oil, argan oil and it's infused with sea kelp, and that is Moroccan. Yeah, Moroccan sea salt spray. They actually are a pretty big name in just the hair care space in general. I'm someone who really enjoys buying products from what people are like specialized in. Like for example, like let's say there's a, a guy who makes men's boots, right? And all they do is make men's boots. That's all they've been doing for generations. I'd rather buy a boot from that guy if it's more expensive than another brand who sells boots and then they also sell like jackets and they also sell sneakers and they also sell headphones like just because they have so many other things that going on i perceive their boots quality as lower than another company who only makes boots forever and ever and only does focus on boots maybe that's just the way i operate maybe it's a psychology thing i don't know but um i like also moroccan's other hair products i mean i think in general they're a very good value priced brand um none of their stuff is like overly outrageously expensive it's pretty affordable and their sea salt spray takes the cake because i just really like the argan oil on it um this does exactly what the other two do it does soft textured looks it adds gritty it adds whatever the way you control is by the number of sprays if you want more Pete and Pedro, you just put three sprays. If you want more like Forte series, you put like five sprays. Um, and it's also healthier for your hair. I use I use a lot of these products as a pre-heat styler before I hit my hair dryer. Uh, but Moroccan man, can't go wrong. The only downside, if there is a downside for this one, is that the bottle is just, I don't know, it's just meh. It's a meh bottle. It's like, <laughs> there's really not much to it. It's just a meh bottle. Um, if you don't care about looks, so you don't care about like that kind of stuff. I'm someone who's presentation focused, right? Like I like to buy things that look great, that look sexy, that fit good on my counter and my wardrobe. Even though no one's seen what's inside my medicine cabinet, I like it to look good for my sake, right? But value priced, does the job, gets everything done. This is the one I use on a daily basis. I use Forte when I want to get a bit more of that like um, beachy look if I'm going to more casual event, if I'm just hanging out with friends, I use more Forte series. And Pete and Pedro, it's just my go-to like if every time I'm traveling. I just think it's just a great size, a 
great blend. Um, once again, Alfam did a really good job with this one. And though he pedals the product a lot, I think that one deserves pedaling because it's just a generally good product. But yeah, man, go get yourself one of these sea salt sprays. I really appreciate you uh, joining and checking out this video. And let me know in the comments below, do you use a sea salt spray? And if so, which one? Because maybe I missed something on this list and it would really help me and appreciate me if you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, uh, hit the notifications bell. I'm here, I'm new on YouTube. I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And um, it would I would love to grow together, you know? Like I'm here to give you guys value, to give you guys all the knowledge I have in my little brain. Um, and if you could help me grow on YouTube as well, so more people get more value, that would just be the best of both worlds. So thank you guys. Um, you know, drop me a comment, follow me on Instagram, socials, uh, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at sitchava.com. I'll see you all in the next one. In the meantime, hopefully you guys have insane hair.